Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nitin Choda with Ignition Time and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to go over the president's political affiliations. The president has been completely transparent about his political affiliations and there's never been any doubt about that, but they have changed over the years. So in this video, I'm going to go over the president's political affiliations and actually show you some interesting news clips about the evolution in the president's position. In fact, the president specifically said that he identified himself as a Democrat and he thought that Democrats were better for the economy. Yes, you're going to see that for yourself. You're going to watch a news clip from the president of the United States, a past news clip before he became president. But I do think it's important to point out the evolution of the president's political affiliations. For example, the president registered as a Republican in Manhattan in 1987 and since that time the, the president has changed his party affiliation five times. Now in 1999 the president changed his party affiliation to the Independence Party of New York. In August 2001 the president changed his affiliation to a Democrat. Yes, the president was a registered Democrat in 2001. In September 2009, many many years later, the president changed his party affiliation back to the Republican Party. Something interesting to take note of. In December 2011, the president changed to no party affiliation. In other words, the president was an independent in December 2011. In August 2012, the president again changed his affiliation back to the Republican Party. Now, an interesting side note, in contrast, Joe Biden has been a member of the Democrat, has been a member of the Democratic Party and he served as a United States Senator from Delaware from 1973 all the way through 2009. And as everybody knows, Joe Biden is a Democratic presidential nominee for the 2020 election running against the incumbent President Trump. So I just thought that that was interesting to point out. Speaking of interesting, back in 2004, President Trump was being interviewed by CNN's World Blitzer and the president said, I quote, in many cases, I probably identify more as a Democrat. Once again, in many cases, I probably identify more as a Democrat. And let me remind my viewers that in August 2001, the president had changed his affiliation from the Independence Party of New York to Democrat. And then in 2009, in September 2009, the president changed his affiliation back to the Republican Party. So let's take a look at this clip. By the way, it, it wasn't easy to track down this clip. So I want to give full credit to my team. Uh, I'm fortunate to have an amazing team and by extension that, you know, that means you guys, my viewers and subscribers get the benefit of really some amazing coverage, some amazing citizen journalism, which is what the Ignition Time is all about. So before I show you the clip, if you can just click like, if you can click subscribe, if you can enable notifications for this, for this uh, investigative piece of citizen journalism. I would really appreciate that. We work hard to bring you news, to bring you bipartisan news for us. It's not about the red or the blue. It's about the red, white and blue. Me and my team, we're not Democrats. We're not Republicans. We are Americans first. So let's roll the clip and see what the president said to CNN's Wolf Blitzer back in 2004. Let's watch. Do you identify more as a Democrat or a Republican? Well, you'd be shocked if I said that in many cases, I probably identify more as a Democrat. And uh, I think you'd probably be shocked. On social issues. You know, it's, it's interesting. I've been now around long, you know, I think of myself as a young guy, but I'm not so young anymore. Now, that was a very interesting interview between the president and CNN's Wolf Blitzer about 16 years ago, back in 2004. So, um, you know, the president actually continued and said some other things that were extremely interesting. He said, and I quote, it just seems that the economy does better under the Democrats than the Republicans. Yes, this is what the president told CNN's Wolf Blitzer. He said, now it shouldn't be that way. But if you go back, I mean, it just seems that the economy does better under the Democrats. But certainly we had some good economies under Democrats as well as Republicans. And this is an important quote. But we've had some pretty bad disasters under the Republicans. Wow. Okay, let's watch this clip so you can see it for yourself. Again, a shout out to my incredible team at Ignition Time. And let's roll the tape and watch this clip. And it just seems that the economy does better under the Democrats than the Republicans. Now, it shouldn't be that way. But if you go back, I mean, it just seems that the economy does better under the Democrats well, than the Republicans. Well, it certainly did well under Clinton. Well, but I wouldn't it. suggest it was so great under Jimmy Carter. That's true. That's if true. you remember That's the interest true. rates. No, I know. I know. It's uh, Jimmy Carter was not in the same thing. But certainly we had some very good economies under Democrats as well as Republicans. But we've had some 
pretty bad disaster under the Republicans. Now, I want to be clear, the president has been very transparent about his political affiliations and about the evolution of his political affiliations over the years. So in an interview in July 2015, the president said that he had a broad range of political positions. And I quote, I identify with some things as a Democrat. By the way, it's interesting because the current battle between the House Democrats and the Republicans who who want to be, uh, you know, who don't want to spend as much money, whereas the Democrats want to do uh, want to do a bigger, bolder package. Um, it's it's sort of a battle of uh, economic priorities, if you will. And the president specifically said, and again, I quote, I identify with some things as a Democrat. And the president actually highlighted his position in a 2015 interview with CNN's Don Lemon. So let's watch that clip as well. And let's see exactly what the president said about the evolution of his position over the years. Let's roll the tape. Were you a Democrat at that point when you said that? Well, at one point I was at one point I was a Democrat and for a period of time mm -hmm. and over the years, as Ronald Reagan changed, I also changed. I became much more conservative. I also became a Republican. So that's it, everybody. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about the evolution of the president's political affiliations over the years, because the president has essentially been a Democrat. He's been an independent and he is a Republican. So this is interesting. And I do want to know what my viewers and subscribers think in the comment section below. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this interesting set of facts, if you will. And also, please share this video with friends and family because it really helps out our channel. It helps us to spread the word and get the word out so that we are all educated, so that we can all use the right information to make the decisions we need to make in the future. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. My name is Dr. Nitin Choda with Ignition Time. If you don't know anything about me, check out my introductory video on our channel. I have the fortune, the honor, the privilege of living the American dream, and I want to help you reach your American dream. So give me the opportunity. Please click like, please subscribe, please enable notifications so you can get instant updates from our channel going forward. Now, you can follow us on Instagram. Our Instagram handle is ignition underscore time. That's ignition underscore time. We release exclusive content specifically for our Instagram community. You can also follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter handle is also ignition underscore time. That's ignition underscore time. We release breaking news and alerts on Twitter. You get them really fast on Twitter. Now, sometimes YouTube does not send out notifications. So make sure you bookmark youtube.com forward slash ignition time on your browser. That's youtube.com forward slash ignition time. This way you can check out our videos and you won't miss a single video, even if you don't get YouTube notifications. Speaking of notifications, get your cell phone out, send a text message with the word ignition or with the word time to 70,000, that's 70000, and you'll get added to SMS alerts list and you can opt out at any time. Speaking of alerts, if you go to ignitiontime.com forward slash alerts, that's ignitiontime.com forward slash alerts, you can get on our email list and you can opt out of the emails at any time if you if you so choose. Once again, thank you so much for watching our videos. Thank you so much for helping grow our community. Thank you so much. Please click like, please subscribe, please enable notifications. Please remember, we release videos at 2 p.m. East Coast time most days of the week. So make sure you subscribe so that you can get alerts from YouTube about those notifications. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.